um, we have here to be 74, we have here to be 35 degrees, 74 degrees, and we have here to be X, and we have here to be Y, okay? And then we can also find this place, and also call here Z, okay? This place and this place will always be equal, here and here will be equal, all right? So what we have to do now is to calculate Y, we calculate X, we calculate Y, and then Z will be simple. If you look at this place, if you take it from here to here, you see that this is half of it, and this place is half, which means the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. So for we to get X, okay, what we simply do is to add here, add here, subtract it from 180. Whatever we get becomes the value of X. So let's go. We have our X to be, um, uh, let's just take it like that. Let's sum it up to 180. X degrees plus uh, 35 degrees plus 74 degrees equal to 180 degrees. All right? So we have our X degrees plus uh, this plus this is 9. Okay? This plus this is 10. We have 109 degrees plus 180 degrees to, okay? I mean, equal to 180 degrees. Then, this... We collect like terms. We move this to this side. So we have our x to be 180 degrees minus 109 degrees. Right? So we have x to be, um, we pick one and put here, minus it becomes one, and then seven. Okay, we have 71 degrees to be the value of uh, uh, x. Okay? There are two ways you can use to resolve y. And I use add this. To get this, because this uh, this uh, this angle here and angle here are equal. Why this and this are also equal? And then you sum this to get this, or you since you've gotten this to be uh, seventy one, then you minus it from one eighty. So our y becomes uh, um, equal to one hundred and eighty degrees minus seventy one degrees, and y becomes. Uh, um 109 degrees and z whatever here is is what said is and said report to also 71 degrees so that is how you simplify friends Bye.